Many people enjoy doing puzzles. With the picture on the box as a guide, they put the individual pieces together until the final scene looks exactly like it. What though, if the picture on the box kept changing? This may be how you feel when you search for God's plan of salvation. People give many answers to the question, how are you saved? It can feel like a picture that's constantly changing. The true picture can be found in the Bible. Yet even there, it says lots of different things save you. You may find the whole thing, well, puzzling. Can you find the answers in the Bible? Let's see how the pieces fit together to form the complete picture of salvation. The first piece of the puzzle is grace. The Bible says God created humans to share in a special relationship with Him and to be partners in His beautiful creation. For this to happen though, humans need to follow God's wisdom in making decisions about how to live. Sadly, many people choose to follow their own wisdom instead. This thinking leads them away from God and the life and partnership He offers. It leads to sin, which ultimately leads to death and separation from God. There is good news, however. Even when you sin, God still loves you and has provided a way back to a good relationship with Him. Jesus Christ, His Son, came to earth and freely gave His life to bring you out of sin and back to God. He died so that you can live. Grace is when you receive something totally undeserved. God's grace came in the form of the blood of Jesus that was given so that you can be saved. Thus, God saves us by His grace. Now consider the other side of the coin. While grace means to receive a gift that is undeserved, mercy is not receiving a penalty that you do deserve. Because of the gracious gift of Jesus Christ, you no longer have to fear being separated from God. He asks you to come back into partnership with Him. Through His mercy, He promises that your sins, which would have caused eternal separation, will be forgiven. So you see that God also saves through His mercy. A third piece of the puzzle is God's Word. God reveals His message of salvation through the Bible. This important book describes who He is, who you are, and what He wants for you. God also saves through the message of His Word because without it, you wouldn't know about His grace and mercy. God's grace and mercy show the deep love God has for you and His strong desire for you to share in His eternal blessings. He will gladly welcome anyone who desires to share in eternity with Him. If you want to share in these eternal blessings, it's important to understand that God has expectations for you. God wants you to listen to the message He has given within the Bible. This means you don't need any other message from God, or a sign, or a miracle of some kind. You simply need to accept only what you find within His Word. So, you are also saved when you receive the Word with meekness. Once you've received His Word, you must also believe that what He has told you is true. More than simply accepting it, it is fully believing that Jesus lived, died, and rose from the dead. It is fully believing that through Him you can find the grace and mercy of God. It is fully believing that through Him, you can find salvation. In addition to everything else, you are also saved by faith. Calling on the name of the Lord is a phrase found several times in the first part of the Bible. It is always used when someone is in great need and knows the Lord is the only source of help. When you realize that you have broken your partnership with God because of sin, there is only one who can restore it, the Lord. Like those saints in times of old, you must call on His name and ask Him to help you. You are saved by calling on the name of the Lord. So, when are you saved? When do you receive God's grace and mercy in response to your acceptance of His word and faith in Him? When do you call on the name of the Lord? The New Testament shows that baptism is when God's grace and mercy are given. When you call on the name of the Lord and show your faith, then God will save you. In baptism, you die with Jesus and are raised from the water to walk with Him. All the other pieces that came before make it possible for you to be saved through baptism. When you examine all the pieces together, you see that they are not conflicting messages, but crucial pieces that must all be present to see the full picture of salvation. God's Word reveals that God's grace and mercy come through your Savior Jesus Christ and are received when you trust and act on God's wonderful plan. Once you put all the pieces together, you are ready to be saved. 
God is ready to receive you and welcome you into his family. Salvation doesn't have to be a puzzle. We're ready to help you put the pieces together in your life.